So today it is one week. Mm -hmm. so, well, not to 5 p.m., but. But to the day. It feels like it went by fast, but at the same time, it feels like she's been here longer. months. Not months, but longer. Years. Um, a, little, a little longer. Um, we don't, or at least I don't, feel as exhausted as I did with Mackenzie Rose. Oh, not even nearly as close as Mackenzie Rose. Mackenzie Rose was rough. Mm -hmm. um, Claire's, I think we got a pretty good handle on it so far. I mean, look, we both got two hands. Two hands. Couldn't do that. Couldn't do that for at least another week with Mackenzie Rose. So, yeah. Um, I think we're doing pretty good. I think Mackenzie Rose has been doing pretty good. Yeah, she does have a cold, so that kind of sucks, but she's been a trooper. So, um, you know, we're keeping her home from school today. Mm -hmm. First day out. Ugh, there goes perfect attendance. Uh, <laughs> but keeping her home, we don't want the other kids to get sick. I'd be kind of, I'd be kind of PO'd if someone sent their sick kid to school. So keeping her home, hopefully she'll be able to go to school. Um, she doesn't go to school tomorrow. Hopefully she goes to school on Friday. She looks like she's starting to get better. So that's good. Um, today we're taking Claire back to the doctor for a, a weight recheck, mm -hmm. um, just to see if she's gaining weight back like normal. Uh, if not, we might have to supplement more with formula or something like that. So, um, so far, pretty good. I'm loving it. It's... I'm loving it. I'm having, tired, but I'm loving it. Having two is is harder, definitely, because yeah. you want to give both attention, or you need to. You want to try to give attention to both kids. Mackenzie Rose, she's a little bit more aware, so we try to. You know, when Claire's in her bed sleeping, we try to play with Mackenzie Rose um, and give her full attention. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when they're both awake or feed, need to feed, then that's when it gets a little bit harder. But I think we're doing I think we're doing good. pretty good. Dude, but how cute is it when Mackenzie Rose goes up to the crib? Mm -hmm. Baby? Yes. Baby? Oh, just warms my heart. Just melts me. Yep, she hasn't <sighs> really been, at least not that I've noticed, like jealous or show mm -hmm. any um, signs of jealousy. Right. Um, I try think to we've, include uh, her. Don't, don't need to run away from me. <laughs> we try to include her and, you know, not, um, uh, what do you call that? Don't, not let her touch her, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were really worried about Mackenzie Rose getting jealous, so we kind of really, made a goal for ourselves to make sure she doesn't feel left out. Um, one thing I really try to do is not to tell her uh, no when it comes to like the baby, like if she's trying to help out kind of a thing. Obviously if she's trying to like hit the baby on purpose, that's a no situation. But if she wants to touch the baby, okay, I say, oh, just be gentle. And maybe instead of trying to touch her face, let's, you can hold her hand or something like that. or mm -hmm. Especially while she's sick. Yeah, especially while she's sick. So we've been hand sanitizing like crazy. My hands are like raw, basically. But Chapped. Yeah. Um, but I think so far it's going good. Um, we've been kind of stuck in the house. We had like a little cold front. So the last couple of days it's been freezing. Um, I say freezing for Las Vegas, but everywhere else is probably not that cold. But it's been in, the, in like the 30s, but with a wind a pretty good wind chill so we haven't been able to go outside um, obviously we're not taking claire outside much uh, the missus is still recovering um, so it's just not like we're hiking around the park or anything but um, i've tried to take mackenzie rose out to uh, the store a couple times um, yesterday we all went as a family actually for the first time poor timing very bad timing <laughs> Um, but it was okay. The missus just had to breastfeed a little bit, um, and then we made it back home. Um, but yeah, um, her birthday's coming up. Mackenzie mm -hmm. Rose's birthday's coming up. Um, super excited. We were kind of thinking about throwing like a bigger party and inviting kids from school and all that, but later in the month. So we nixed that idea real quick. Yeah. Uh, that's whoa, whoa. Maybe next year. If Claire wasn't so young, then, you know, 
probably mm -hmm. would have did that, but because she'd only be, I think, maybe three weeks, something like that. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> yeah. And plus we have some family in town that'll be here for her actual birthday. So I uh, just decided to kind of go ahead and... Um, Keep it small. Yeah, throw a little, a small little shindig um, later on this week, I guess. Um, it's going to be fun having these two girls' birthdays so close together. Yeah, they're like 10 days apart. Yikes. 10 days. Two. Yeah, 10 days. No, 12 days. 12 days? 12 days. Okay, 12 days. I think. Yeah, so 12 days. Um, it's going to be fun when they get older. Whoa. Mm -hmm. if, if baby number three has the same same around birthday, then we're screwed. Don't. We're screwed. So don't. <laughs> Let's spread like, it out or something. Right around the holidays, you know, we just had Christmas, then it's Claire's birthday. A month later, it's Claire's birthday. Then two weeks later, less than two weeks, it's, it's McKenzie Rose's, Rose's birthday. birthday. Uh, but yeah. Um, anything else? Um, Hopefully we don't look too bad. We've been alone. <laughs> Yeah, we've been mainly alone. Um, the Her parents have been here the first few days, which was such a huge help. So thanks, Mom and Dad. Um, they helped watch Mackenzie Rose and the dogs and all that um, while we were in the hospital. So that was a huge, huge, huge help. We were really stressing out about what we would do mm -hmm. if uh, Claire came early. So happy everything happened. Well, she did technically come early. She did, but the timing was perfect. Timing was perfect. They got in the morning of, and we had her later that evening. So it was great. Um, and they and left for a business trip, and they'll be back later this week. Mm -hmm. So I was a little worried about being alone, especially since I had the C-section. Which, by the way, you're recovering, like, really well. Yeah. I think... Like, she's a little stubborn, so I have to... Push her back, pump the brakes a little, but she's doing really well. So second time is a little bit easier. I know what to expect. That's why. Yeah, maybe we'll do a little um, like C-section video, like second C-section, what to expect kind of a thing. That'll be kind of cool for all the moms out there. Um, but yeah. Otherwise, I think we're doing pretty good. We'll see you soon. <laughs>